Hello friends, so in this tutorial we will be plotting RAM signal in MATLAB. So the expression for RAM signal I have given it here. RAM signal is equal to time into u of t. u of t is nothing but unit time sequence. So the time I will be considering is from minus 10 to plus 10 values. That will That is total 21 values including 0. So this is the time range I'll be considering and u of t that is unit step sequence expression is zeros 1 of 10 and 1's 1 of 11. Zeros 1 of 10 and 1's 1 of 11 I'll be explaining it in MATLAB. What does this code or command mean? So this is the MATLAB workbench. So I'll just write down the RAM signal expression. RAM is equal to T into U of T. So this is the RAM signal expression. So first I'll consider the time range that is between minus 10 2 plus 10 and I'll write down zeros command zeros so 10 so we can see what these zeros means by this so it turns all the row elements in a row to zeros that is from 1 to 10 so total 10 elements and all are turned into zeros similarly ones command turns all the elements in a row to 1 so all the elements have been turned to 1 using the ones command now I'll write down the expression uh, unit step sequence expression u of t is equal to square bracket zeros from 1 to 10 to 10 ones from 1 to 11 and close the square bracket semicolon So it's array indices must be positive integers or positive integers or logical values. So I'll just remove this t from the expression and check if it is be working fine or zeros one comma ten ones. 1,11 and semicolon so this works that means this it is giving error if we consider variable as u of t so when I change the variable to u it showing no error so now we have time and we have the unit step sequence so we'll just write down the RAM signal formula that is R is equal to we have T dot multiplication why dot because we have different set of values that are 21 values we have that is the reason why we will be using dot value so that it multiplies with respect to each other so that's where the dot operator is helpful into u and semicolon so the values are now generated here we can see all the values here if we double click on r we will be finding the values of r all the values of r so these are the 21 values of r which we got
we will close this one and similarly we can find the all the values of p u from this workspace so we have r u and t so let's plot the graph of ram signal plot by using the plot command plot p comma u and semicolon so the graph is getting generated now so this is what the graph of ram signal looks like p comma r so i'll just close this so actually it's the ram signal graph is between p and r not u so let's check once again so yeah so this is the correct graph which i was expecting it so this is the graph bit of ramp signal so i'll just write down the x axis and y axis so it will get clear x label by using the command x label we can write x inside the bracket we have time on x axis time on x axis so time on x and on y we have ramp so time on x axis and ramp on y axis and the title we can give it as ramp signal so ramp signal so we can see from this graph that after time is zero and more the signal starts getting generated so this is what a ram signal looks like before zero all the values are zero and up after zero the values of ram gets generated so this is what it what a ram signal looks like thank you